The season's rain and snow melt will be the first real world test for the Oroville Dam. A two year project to rebuild the spillway may have just finished in the nick of time. KPIX5's Wilson Walker is there live, and Wilson, people downstream seem still to remember what it was like to be evacuated. Yeah, I think anybody that was up here two years ago will never forget the sort of harrowing evacuation from every spot downstream from the Feather River here. Well, the spillway behind me is done, and as we creep into March with continuing rain here and that tremendous snowpack sitting up above this lake, it may be time to put this spillway to the test. Assuming Mother Nature keeps putting down a lot of precip and snowpack, there's a chance we would use it this season, certainly. With Lake Oroville finally creeping back towards capacity, we again find ourselves watching the math that flows down the Feather River. Right now, we are actually releasing from Hyatt Power Plant at about 5,000 cubic feet per second. Yes, the hydro plant is humming, but if there is another strong storm system here or a strong spring runoff, all attention will turn to the newly constructed spillway rebuilt over the last two years. Thicker, it has more concrete, it has more anchors and rebar than the original design. We've spent an awful lot of time and effort, had the best minds and people on the reconstruction, and that's why we are confident that it's going to be able to handle flows. And no one is paying more attention to all of this than the people living just downriver in Oroville. Absolutely. We've been, we've been watching this project uh, unfold very closely, and, and I think that people are confident with actually being able to see what went in there instead of just trusting something that was built 50 years ago. Orville Mayor Chuck Reynolds says the town's trust was shaken during the harrowing evacuation of 2017. And he says while the state still has some trust to restore here, most people are confident in the reconstructed spillway. Uh, I believe that when we spend $2 billion, we should have uh, something that's going to work for us. And, and I trust that wholeheartedly. You guys get that a lot of people are paying attention to this. Yeah, absolutely. And so are we. But we, I want to make sure that people know that we will be communicating out if and when things change. Okay, now. I don't think DWR really wants to have to use that spillway. Remember, they don't really have to. The lake can kind of fill up above it. They can sit on it. They say they're not going to let that water go through that spillway unless there is a storm coming in or some type of circumstance where they're afraid the lake level will rise quickly on them. So they could avoid having to use it, which may be their preference. But if they get forced to, they say it's going to work. You know, obviously, everyone around here will be waiting to see how this thing functions. And as you heard, DWR says if they let the water go, they are going to let everybody know, everyone paying attention, and they know it. But two years after that big scare up here, we might finally see the rebuilt spillway get put to the test. We are live at the Oroville Dam. Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.